step right here, too. Not now, so the I have got work to do. Oh, of course, sir. Sorry, sir. Oh, Mr. Wonderman, I almost forgot. There's a big box in the mirror in the mailroom addressed to you. I would have brought it up, but I already broke the nail this morning, and I just... A big box, you say? That's what this shipment I've been waiting for. Simplex! Yes, Mr. Wonderman, did you want to see my joy? I just go down to the mail and bring up the box to destiny. Oh, the mailroom. Where's Mr. Wonderman? Stella is such a hard worker, Mr. Wonderman. Maybe you should look her job sometime. I'm sure she's a very good artist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's an artist. Give me those budget figures you were working on yesterday, Viola. Yes, sir. They're not too good this month, Mr. Wonderman. Comic book sales are just down a little. A little? You call this a little? Discovered in the wizard keys from ages 
gone by. These tend to bring life to any hero or villain that you draw. That sounds a little far-fetched to me. A little far-fetched is pretty loud. We don't really believe this, do you need to? Sounds like scam city to me. If it were a scam, why would they write this? Full satisfaction guarantee or your money back. <laughs> I tell you, everyone, these little pens will make us a fortune. Let me get this straight. What if we draw up these pens will actually come to life? Absolutely. That is truly weird. Weird. But well, you know, it does have some very interesting possibilities. But if they come to life, how do we make them do what we want them to? Simple. We just keep drawing them along our storyline. If that works, then people will be actually able to see our superheroes and villains acting out the storyline that we draw for them. You're right, it would be far better than an ordinary comic book. Better than TV. Better than radio. Better than the movies. Now you're talking. We're going to straight get rich with this. Very rich. Rich is nice. I could live with rich. Very rich is even better. <laughs> okay, everyone, it's too late to start tonight, so I want everybody to go home, get a good night's sleep, and start right early tomorrow morning with our first issue of Wonder Comics Alive. Wonder Comics Alive! Powerful pens from Peloponnesia, you have made my day. I finished just seeing all that issue with Mr. Weatherman. Mr. Weatherman? I guess you left for the night. You know what? Maybe I'll just empty the trash can and leave myself. I really want to work on that new superhero I thought of. My drawing. I guess she didn't like it. Oh, Stella. I just came back to get some papers. What's that you're holding? Oh, this? It's just the drawing I made for Mr. Wonderman. But he didn't like it. I found it in his trash can. Stella, I'm sorry. Oh, it's all right. I'll just have to make a better one. Hey, Stella. Mr. Wonderman has to order this box of pins for his artists. Why don't you take this one? I'm sure he won't miss one little pen. And maybe it'll bring you a good look. A pen for Wonder Comics? Gee, Viola, thanks! Don't mention it. Well, I better get going. Mr. Wonderman gave me the day off tomorrow. Isn't that nice of him? It sure is. Very nice. Good night, Viola. I'm going to be a comic book artist if it's the last thing I do. <laughs> well, Stella, you have to be a comic book artist. Will the, will the pencil of Calvinese really work? Will DC wonder me make piles of money? The next day, answer one of these questions. We've been sketching all morning. My name is Tilly. Where's Mr. Wonderman? The meeting was supposed to start ten minutes ago. I don't know, but I wish he'd decide which right character was going to be used for Wonder Comics Alive. Me too. I want to try one of those pens in Telepomedia. Do you think they could really work? Well, not soon enough. Here comes Wonderman. Uh, okay, everyone, listen up. You've all been working hard all morning to present to me sketches of superheroes after superheroes. I've seen them, I've seen them all very carefully, and I've now chosen my character who will be the first in our round baby series. Wonder Comics Alive. This is a character you'll draw with a new pen from Peloponnesia. You'll draw his environment, his headquarters, his tools, and attention. You will draw him in all his glory so he can leap from our pages and become a living, breathing superhero. Unveil the picture already, Wonder Man. Yeah, I'll be wanting to get started. For Pete's sake, people, this is a momentous moment. It deserves a little fan favor. Thank you.
Times Square. <laughs> Not bad, but I think I'm much better looking in real life. <laughs>
faster than a speeding bullet. Watch this. <laughs> see that? What? I was there and now I'm here. I was so fast. <laughs> Thank you. 
in my group of superheroes ever since I started drawing. Stella's right. Let her decide. All right. Fair enough. How about the Fabulous Four? The, the Fabulous, fabulous Four? four? <coughs> mm, we are pretty fabulous, especially in, <coughs> you know. <laughs>
think Pajama will leave you of that big question.
square. We'll go to Times Square early. As soon as they are, the shop helpers and minutos arrive, Star Guy will zap the minutos. Trip Time runs his grass shot clock, Blossom knocks him out, and... And? And... <laughs> one that woman will bury a hole deep underground, and we'll put shot clock in there and seal it up. I can do that. <laughs> It'll be fantastic. Just like a cross between the X-Men and the old Tales from the Crypt. This Tales of the Crypt sounds a bit creepy. Fabulous Four, man your battle stations. On to, on to Times Square to the battle with the evil Dr. Shotclaw.
folks, but I think it's time for a bit of my magic. What have we here? Years. 
Beulah has got to face the facts. I'm just a flop as a comic book artist. Now, just a minute. If you call yourself a flop, what does that make me? I thought you did a very good job <laughs> making me so I could burrow out of the shop top range of magic. You did, and you kept your hat at such a jaunty angle through the whole day. I did? Thank you. I recently wore it straight on, but I thought it looked a little more, a little more stylish when I coped it. It definitely does. I think the way you wear a hat is very... Hats? Hats? Can't you just see I'm drowning here? I'm wallowing, you might say, in destructive self-pity. And only you two can talk it up. It's hats! Sorry, Stella. I thought you decided to give up. Well, I have. But you could at least try to talk me out of it. After all, I just lost a lifelong dream. I got shaped out on the name my mother gave me. Poor Stella. Stella Leonardo Savinich, you mean me. Leonardo was a famous Italian artist. My dear mother named me after him because she believed that I, too, could achieve fame and distinction in the world of art. She worked her fingers to the bone to buy me pens, paper, paintbrushes, and paints. She scrubbed toilets and, and scrubbed floors so that her daughter, Stella Leonardo Savinich, could realize her dream of becoming a comic book artist. Now, I let her down. I let my dear mother down. All those hours she spent toiling for me, giving up her own happiness for me, are wasted because I'm not good enough. I'm no Leonardo. I'm just a Stella. Stella Sapovitz, and no one. It's a the story of all.
place for their meeting. With true comic book flair, Stella chose the tops of the Times Building for the final deadly encounter. Extra, extra, we all know it. It's your superhero time to duck and shuffle to a duel. Midnight on top of the Times Building. Extra, extra, we all know it.
Boy, I'm not going to use those pens from Peloponnesia again. Who would have thought our great friends would smash by our And I think I was the one who first drew that monster. PDC, you're late. I don't want to explain anything to my wife about how I was gone all that time. She wasn't buying the time for your story. <laughs> I love 